Car Audio and welcome back to the channel. Today we've got a really special car in for an audio installation. Now this car belongs to a very good friend of ours, Merlin, aka Duke of London. You've probably seen the steering wheel, few giveaway signs. It is a 1968 Mustang 289 4.7 V8. Oh, what a motor. This car is absolutely immaculate and quite rightly Merlin wants to keep all the aesthetics looking OEM. I think about 10 years ago it's had a semi restoration done on it so the car is absolutely mint. It's got the 4.7 V8 engine in it. Let's just check it out quickly. The boys have already started stripping the car but yeah look. Oh check that out. The air filter on top of the carburetors. Mate this is like proper nostalgic it's got that really strong petrol fume smell to it it's absolutely brilliant i love it this car just looks so cool the road presence of this vehicle is just on a next level it's massive <laughs> fuel filler cap goes in through the boot straight into the petrol tank that's uh, mounted in the floor in the boot nice to see that all the chrome bits are all still very shiny but like i said it has had like a semi restoration at probably about 10 years ago so yeah, let's crack on. Now Merlin loves his Audison equipment, so we're gonna be kitting it out with Audison. We're going with a Audison SR 5.600 five channel amp to power front coaxial speakers. Again, Audison APX 6.5s. And then there are locations in the rear quarters for some six by nines. So we're gonna be going for APX 690s in the rear and Again, Merlin loves the APBX 10 Audison sub box. And again, top quality cabling as always. I'll show you the stereo in a little while because it's typically it's still being pulled out from, the, from stock. So just bear with us on that one, but you'll see it fitted in the vehicle anyway. Um, so yeah, Merlin, scrap that, or you can use it in your bedroom or something where it's supposed to be used. Merlin has requested to keep this car as original as possible. So we're gonna do our best. The only thing that we're gonna to need to modify are these panels. Now these go in the front footwells. We're gonna fit the front speakers in there. We're gonna put dynamite around the back and on the actual uh, metal work on the vehicle so we get a proper bass response or mid bass response from the speakers. And like I said, the six by nines, I think they're straight drop in. So we'll do a bit of dynamiting around them as well. But we've now gone with a JVC KDX 482 DBT, three RCA pre-outs, front, rear and sub. So Merlin will have full fader control, balance control, and um, you can control this volume of the bass separately as well. So yeah, all fully loaded. Jingles, what's going on? I don't know, it's just very... Tinny, isn't it? Yeah, unfortunately, cars from the 60s are like that, aren't they? I know what we're doing with the fronts. That looks kind of straightforward. Um, Ish. Six by nines in the rear? Well, we're hoping. I'm trying to try and take these off Yeah. and see what's there. But it looks like everything's like reverse fitted, so there's a lot of stuff to take off. A lot of screws. And it's very... As you can hear that. So you're so. going to need a load of dynamat for the boot area in certain places? Yeah, it's, it's still going to rattle. So dynamat is not there to completely get rid of noise in some cases. It's just to reduce it down and yeah. to resonate in and trying to make it as best as we can. And, and the fact that it's a very, very old car now, a lot of the panel work and everything over time becomes very brittle. So you've got to be extra yeah. careful I when mean, removing it. Thankfully, because... it's metal, so it'll be fine. But yeah. then obviously, if there's any sort of rust in the holes behind it, then you take off a screw and it will, might not never go back in again. But so, um, yeah. yeah, so you just got to be careful as possible. Plus they're painted, scratch easy. So yeah, yeah just be careful. So normally, um, classic cars are a lot easier to work on, but at the same time, you've got to be a lot more careful. You know, plastics and stuff like that all become brittle over time. So you don't want to end up breaking anything because you might not be able to get replacements being a really, really old car. Um, so yeah, but listen, I've got the best team here and the boys are going to take care of it.
nothing for the amp to go at the moment. So if you look in, it's just completely empty. So either we build a metal bracket or something and mount the amp, but then he throws stuff in his boot. He didn't have any boot floor carpet, had a bit of lino and some car mats. So my thinking was if I do a little simple framework, put mount somewhere so I've got somewhere to mount the amp, I can chuck a board on top of it. That way he's got a flat boot floor and then I can put the orders and sub box on top of it and it will Velcro down and it's got somewhere to sit on as well. So it will just double up as two things. These is my support and the middle wherever it bows and have it an angle, fix the amp down and do another cover on top of it. So the amp stays underneath the panel. Then I need to mark it against my other boards, paint it, drop it down. Then our amp can screw down, wires can get connected up to it. Then I just got to make a top cover after. Wish the minor as well. All it's going to be is a rectangle piece of board, carpet, and dropped on top, and that's it. Um, I've done the stereo mount in the glove box for the new stereo. I'm just, and we're not that far off over really there. What's up guys? So I've just been told that the Mustang has now been completed and um, I can't wait to hear it. But let's quickly just go through the equipment. Right, so as requested, we've kept the original stereo in place just to keep it looking OEM. And then we've mounted the JVC stereo in the glove box. So Merlin mainly uses his phone for all the music and he just Bluetooth music across. We have also added a USB connector down here. Then right next to that, we've just added the bass controller just here, so it's still all hidden away. For the front speakers, originally there is no speaker locations in the front of this car. But the funny thing is, if you just have a look over here, these panels kind of have a, a molded speaker looking type mold to them. So we basically just cut holes in those. So that's really the only modification that we needed to do to get these speakers to fit. This has all been dynamated as well. So it's nice and solid. So you get a really nice mid bass reflex from that. And also in the rear, six by nine speakers have been fitted behind the uh, original location. So you can't tell that there's uh, any changes to that. Now there was a bit of work involved in that. Jay had to make some um, collars and stuff to mount the six by nines. So that's all been done. And if you look at it aesthetically, 95% of it looks original, which is what Merlin wanted. Let's check out what we've done in the boot. So in the boot sits the uh, Audison subwoofer. Now we've just Velcroed that to a board at the bottom. So if uh, Merlin is ever going on a long journey and he needs the boot space, um, he can easily remove that. But it, I think it's small enough anyway, and he likes his base. So I don't think he's gonna go on a long journey without any base. So I'm sure he'll be over the moon with that. And then underneath this panel, 
is um, there's a bit of a void under there. So we've mounted the amplifier under there and then put the board on top just to protect it so he can carefree put stuff in the boot without having to worry about pulling any cables out or anything like that. So that looks real neat. Now, the moment of truth. Let's have a listen. I can't wait for this. This is gonna sound proper. First of all, I'm gonna play some music that's got more mid-range frequencies and um, a lot of voice on it. So we'll get an idea of the actual quality of the music. So let's uh, play that first. And then afterwards I'll play a tune that's got a bit more bass in it just to see how much bass we're getting out of the boot on this vehicle. I've got to be careful that I don't play any um, copyright music. So let's, um, hopefully this, this music will be all right. Let's have a look. Right, here we go. Wow, that sounds absolutely crystal clear. Um, we're getting plenty of mid-range and mid-bass out of the uh, 6 by 9s in the back. The, what you need to remember is um, the cone area on a 6 by 9 is quite large. It's always pretty easy to get a lot of mid-bass out of 6 by 9s um, So yeah, I'm happy with that. Now let's play a tune which has got a bit more sub-bass in it. It's <laughs> amazing. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Merlin, you're going to be over the moon with this. This sounds absolutely brilliant. And the best thing about it, Bosch. <laughs> Let's uh, have a li quick little catch up with Jay and see um, if there was any difficulties, um, any, any obstacles that they uh, had to jump over to get this job done. So, Jay! Oh, where? Oh, there you are. How'd you get on with this car, Jay? What car? This one. Oh, did we do oh we didn't do it. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's all done, it's all right. Yeah? Yeah, it weren't too bad. The only things we haven't done custom is obviously you had supplied pods for the front. So we just added an adapter ring and put the speaker on it. Yeah. We have used different grills to what the ones we've actually put on because the ones that come with it are really big. Okay. So I will be taking obviously those labels off those. Yep. Yep. But sometimes you have to, you, know, you have to use different bits and pieces. The rears, um, obviously behind the rears, so, uh, we mounted the 6 by 9s actually to the rear quarters. Yep. Then it went in. Um, the pods have been dynamated, rear quarters have been dynamated, boot inside have been dynamated, the rear panel dynamated, and we made a little framework in the boot. Yep. Uh, two reasons, one to hide the amp, yep. and one, so because the box has got these Velcro feet, so it sits in there, it won't slide around everywhere and damage anything. Perfect. Holds there perfectly with all and the power I, and the cost. Do you know what, I really well. like these sub boxes because literally if you need the boot space, Me. you just pull out the speaker cable and well, leave it. Well, we actually course. call this the Merlin package because he comes in and he just loves the sound of the speakers, the subs, you know, he, he's so used to it. And literally he'll drop a car off and goes, yep, I'll have the Merlin package. So it'll be all the speakers, all the sub, and we're doing whatever head unit he wants. But yeah, it's gone well, yeah. So I think it sounds pretty good to be fair. It, sound, it sounds amazing. Yeah. Sounds I mean, I'm sure what happy. did he have before? Look, this. I know. <laughs> Sony Bluetooth house. <laughs> outdoor speaker. He can put that back in his kitchen now. That's it. No, he'll put it in the next car when he brings it oh, over. Oh, yeah, so right. all right. <laughs> Working on cars has its ups and downs. Um, this one is actually pretty nice. It's, it's a decent car. It's a straight car. Everything came apart how it should and went back on how it should. So no complaints there, to be fair. But it's just when you're taking apart a car of this age, you've got to be really careful yeah. because all the plastics are a lot Plus, more brittle. Plus, all of this is metal and it's painted, so you've yeah. got to be careful not to scratch anything. So, yeah. But yeah, everything went sweet, to be fair. So. Happy with the outcome. Listen guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of this audio install on Merlin's Mustang. And remember, like, share and subscribe. And um, we can carry on bringing you some awesome content.